Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. I'm Nigel Croft and it's Friday the 13th of October. In this video we'll be looking at the charts on the euro against the US dollar. What we'll see is that the moving averages have become so important to the development of the euro. We hit the 200 on the 4 hour, that created massive resistance and we pulled back. We've also just had a bearish cross on the 20, crossing the 50 on the daily and on the 200 on the weekly we need to stay higher than that level. Let's look at those charts. So here we are on the weekly and here the important uh, moving average is the 200, uh, the 200 week which is tracking downwards still so it's a negative influence on the market but, we, but the euro is above that level at the moment. Uh, the 200 is at 1.1707 1 and spot 118, spot 296. So we need to stay above that level. That will give support whilst we're above it, even though it's moving down. But the concern would be if we fell below that 200 week, that would give a push lower. You can see the 20 is moving up, so that's a supportive factor. That's at 1.1651 and the 20 did have a golden cross with the 50 on the week of the 19th of June. Um, on the RSI, it's still reasonably uh, high, 62.7, although it is drifting, so we are losing upside momentum. And that's confirmed as the short term MACD has just moved below the longer term over the last couple of weeks but they are tr starting to track down, although they are well above zero. So still some positive momentum on the weekly. Looking at the daily, and here you can see that the key moving averages, the 20 and the 50, are now both tracking down. The 20 crossed the 50 on the 6th of October. I've looked at the figures on that day very closely and the 50 was moving down therefore it was a bearish cross and was a negative indicator for the euro. Um, you can see at the moment that we're, we're trading on the 20, uh, 20 day uh, but if we move below there it will give a push to the downside and then that would see these supports just below the 117 being tested. On the RSI uh, we have marginally moved back above 50. Uh, it's just flat line in. It's at 50.86. That's indicative of neither upside nor downside momentum. And the MACD short term has moved above the long term. Long term still moving down, still both below zero. Again, not a great sign of any momentum there. On the four hour chart, here you can see that the 200 average created the resistance which halted the advance. That is all is very important now. That's presently at 118318 and is a key resistance level. You can see that we've pulled back to the rise in 20 and the 20 did have a golden cross on the 50 which is good uh, but we do need to hold that support. Um, so we may get a pincer movement between that support of the 20 and the resistance of the 200. We're losing upside momentum. You can see that the RSI is tracking down. Uh, still above 50, 55.39. Uh, but the MACD have both started tracking down and the shorter term has moved below the long term. And that's shouting a sell at the moment. Looking at the support and resistance levels, uh, that 204 hour is all important, 118.74. And then the high of the 22nd of September, 120.047, with support at the 20 day, 118.24. And then the second support is the low of 6 of October, 116.692.
So that's been TA for traders looking at the euro against the US dollar. The key takeaways should be that we're having severe problems with the moving averages, especially the 200 on the four hour. That's now very important. Um, also, we've got the rolling 20 and 50, but we are holding above the 200 week average. So be aware of that. But we are losing upside momentum. Many thanks for watching this video. Please remember these videos are my opinions and they're not an investment recommendation. Please do read the disclaimer.